What's going on guys, Spartan Willie here and today I'm going to show you how to install the F1 Manager 2021 mod into your Motorsport Manager game. Okay, so this mod is made, created by Eddie Mark Wick, who also created the F1 2020 mod, which I did a tutorial on a couple days ago. That will be in the top right right now, and in the description below if you want to play with the F1 2020 mod for whatever reason. But today we're here for the 2021 mod, so we're just going to go ahead and start this one like we started the other one, and just hit the subscribe button. Now that's about half the mod installed, and now we move on to the other half, which is a bit more complex. Okay, so now we're going to want to navigate to our Steam Workshop directory. The easiest way to get to any Steam directory is to right-click on a game in your library. Of course, we're going to do Motorsport Manager today. Go to Properties, the bottom option, and on the left here, do the third one down to Local Files, and hit this big Browse button in the top right here. Now we're at the files of our Motorsport Manager and we're going to back it up a little bit just to Steam apps like so. So it'll be a different file for you depending on where you installed your Steam. But in the Steam apps we're going to go on Workshop and then go on Content and then we're going to look for 415200. So that's 415200, like so. We are now greeted with a bunch of long numbers. So to find out which number we need to click on here, we're going to need to go back into our Steam and go to the mod page on the Steam Workshop. And as you can see here at the end of the URL, it is 23441-08860. So that is the idea we're going to look for in that folder. So if you don't know how to enable this URL, I'll teach you how to do that now. But that is the exact number you'll need for this 2021 mod. So if you want to learn how to get this URL up, just go into your Steam and go Settings. Now that you're in your Settings, you just want to go onto Interface. And in Interface, there should be a tick option for Display Steam URL Address Bar when available. Make sure that's ticked and hit OK. And then at the top here, you'll see a URL when it is available. So back over here onto our content 415200, which is just the code for the game. We're going to click on our workshop mod, which we know is 2344. So click on that. Okay, so now that we're in the actual workshop mod folder, we want to click on extras, and this is everything you're going to need to install the second half of the mod. As you can see here, there is actually a F1 Manager 2021 mod guide, so if you prefer a written form, um, maybe have a look at that, but I will be going through the entire mod and all its elements and how to install anyway on this video, but that's always there for another sort of set of instructions. Okay, so now we're going to make another Windows Explorer folder for our game directory so we can drag and drop. So we're going to go back to our Steam and right click on Motorsport Manager, go Properties again, Local Files, Browse, and that will bring up a fresh game directory for us to copy and paste the files that we need to copy and paste. Okay, so now I'm going to hand it over to Pass Spartan Willy because I've already sort of done a similar mod installation on the 2020 and the backup process is the exact same. So if you've already seen the backup or you've already got a backup or for some reason you don't want to make a backup of your game files, it's, I highly recommend it so you can switch back to your base game. But skip to this time on screen if you want to go past that backup process. I highly recommend you do it if you haven't already. And yeah, I'll pass you over now. Okay, so now we're going to want to make a backup of our game, just in case we want to go back to play Default Motorsport Manager. So go on mm underscore data, and then up the top here, there's a manage file, file here. So click on that, and the assembly dash c sharp dot dll, the second one from the top there, we're going to back that up. So just copy it out like so, and then just paste it into another file. And we want to leave the first pass ones, so these ones here, don't worry about them, just get this one here. And then go back to your mm underscore data file and go scroll down past all these levels and under level 127 here, before the shared assets, there's one called resources.assets. Back that up as well. Basically, we're just backing up the files that we're going to replace with the mod. So we want to get rid of the mod. We just put back the default game files and it'll work as normal. But go down here to shared asset 76 we're going to want to back that up as well so this one here basically that's just a loading screen so it is actually an optional these don't need to be installed for the mod to work but if you want the loading screen you're going to you want to back that up and replace it now we're also going to want to back up and replace shared assets 3 to 36 this is a massive part of the mod it's actually all the track like hiking in sponsors and stuff so if you want your track to look like the real sort of sponsor layouts and stuff like that you want to back up 3 to 36 so just go down here 
and go to 36 and back it all up and you can replace it when you you don't really need the res so it's probably easy just to back them up and drag them back in then manually selecting like that look it's up to you you can manually select all the assets without the res but you know i'm just going to do it all for simplicity sake just so you can shift select like that so back up all those files i just told you i'll put a list on the screen now and we'll get into installing the mod all right so i've just put together a little backup here and now for your eagle-eyed viewers if you've noticed that my date modified it's a bit out of whack with my assembly c sharp compared to all the others because i've just freshly installed my game on four days ago you can tell but um i did actually install the mod for the video i did what came out yesterday for the start date, so that's just the 2020 start date. So my assembly C sharp's a bit different, but yours should all be the same. But anyway, if that's only if you notice, I just sort of thought I'd explain it. But as you there, I've copied out and pasted a backup of all the files I just went through there in our little list. And and see, I got the res files there, but you can take them out, like I've just taken them out then. But but yeah, finally moving on to the installation now. Okay, so now we're going to actually installing it. So I hope past Spartan really was helpful if you want to create a backup. I know I, I really didn't like using old footage, but it was such a good explanation of the backup. I felt like I couldn't replicate it again. But anyway, we move on now. It's the exact same process, so it's fine. But we're going to go on to actually installing it now, of course. So we're going to highlight all these resources here. So everything up to the bottom of the mod guides, not the assembly C sharp or the supporting files. We'll get into those supporting files at the end. Copy them there and then go into your motorsport manager, go mm underscore data, go there and then just hit right click and paste. And now ask if you want to replace, say yes, replace it. Okay, so now we're going to go into our manage file here. So it's called managed. And as you see, there is an assembly dash C sharp dot DLL here. So if we jump back over to our mod extras and uh, got our assembly up here above the mod guides, copy that and open up our directory in our managed folder. Make sure it's in the managed. If it's in another one, it won't work. This won't be here for you. That's because um, I've got some mod installs. I'll talk about them later as well, but paste that in and replace. And you have officially completed the installation of the F1 Manager 2021 mod. I have a couple more things to talk about though before I let you go. Okay, so on the Steam Workshop page again here, it says mod recommendations. So for the best in-race experience, he recommends a Newman 55's expended, extended camera and enhanced graphics. Now, I've already done a video on the extended camera mod, which I uploaded yesterday. So that's in the top right right now and will be in the description on how to install that. That's when I had the Unity Mod Manager. And tomorrow I will be releasing a video about the how to install the enhanced graphics as well. So those are highly recommended with this mod and I highly recommend them too. Um, so yeah, check those videos out if you want to know how to install them. They're pretty simple installations, but sometimes it's helpful to have a bit of a helping hand. Okay, so another thing I want to talk about is with a bit of a new thing with the F1 2021 mod is it actually supports modifications. So as you can see there, as tools for players wishing to make their own modifications. So that's what this extra file in the extras is, supporting files. So you can change, it has a list on the actual guide here, if I bring that up. So as you see on the actual guide here, it says you can change the teams. Um, you can change whether the teams get promoted or, you know, not promoted. So if the bottom of F1 goes down to F2 and the top of F2 goes up to F1, like it does in the base game. And you can change default parts like suppliers, chassis, HQ, journalists, personality trade sponsors, anything really in this guide here. So this is a bit more of an advanced thing. Um, maybe I'll do a video on this if it's requested, but it's there. I'm just letting you know. It's on the mod guide. You know, big props to the author. You know, this is um, pretty good of him to provide all these modding, extra modding tools as well on top of the awesome mod. On the topic of the author, big shout out to Eddie Markwick, who year after year is making these amazing mods for their community's sake and continuing to build on them with the modding tools and stuff. Um, I have no affiliation with the creation of this mod or Eddie himself. I'm just making the video as a lover of the mod and the game and want to help out the community because I know some people need a bit of a helping hand with the installation. Okay, I'm just in Motorsport Manager now. I just thought I'd boot up a quick career to show off that the mod worked. So if we go into F1 here, this mod overall looks a lot more polished than the F1 2020 mod. There's nothing wrong with this, that mod. Uh, this mod just looks fantastic. As you can see, the McLaren look like they've 
second, which is a bit strange. But um, yeah, so obviously a lot of the liveries are concepts because the liveries haven't been released yet. But I'm sure Eddie will update the mod as soon as the liveries get released. So yeah. But as you see, all the teams for 2021 are here, like Aston Martin and Alpine. Okay, so I've just built up a save with Ferrari. Just have a look. If you want to check out my rebuilding Ferrari save on 2020, it's in the top right right now. If you want to have a look at that. But as you see there, Charles Leclerc, Carlos Sainz in the updated Ferrari uniforms. It looks amazing. Uh, Daniel Ricciardo in the McLaren. Hopefully he goes a long way there towards a championship. But the starting date works. I famously messed that up in my Let's Play with Ruben Ferrari. I started in 2016. But no, not this time. We replaced the right files. 2021. Three stage qualifying. It's all there. Cars look great. Yeah, so that is basically the installation for the F1 Manager Mod 2021. Now, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. If you have any um, concerns or problems with the tutorial, Leave them with me in the comments as well. Any feedback would be greatly appreciated. If this helps you out, it means a lot if you can leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Motorsport Manager and Football Manager content. And I'd like to thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.